You know what I think about when I think about springtime? I think about just as how the flowers blossom, new love also blossoms. The time is finally here. The sun is coming out. The days are getting warmer. It's daytime for longer. And we all know that means spring is in the air. And what goes better with spring than love? But what happens if you're single? Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leia and I am a single Pringle. And today I would love to talk about how to be single in a panorama. Now pre-panini, the art of being single probably looked something like going out with friends, trying new adventures, meeting new people, you know, just spending time platonically and maybe every once in a while going on a date and looking for that special person. But for many of us, that just isn't an option right now. There's a lot going on. Some of us would rather not chance meeting brand new people. I get that. I too am one of those people. Over a year ago, there were lots of things I would do to fill my single dim lifehood. But since so many things have been closed on and off in the past year, I've had to find new ways to entertain myself and be a single Pringle. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Well, my sweet friend, let me tell you. Not only have I in the past lived the very serious relationship life, I also have spent quite a bit of time deliberately dodging and avoiding serious relationships and serious commitments. <laughs> Not today. Apparently I'm very good at being single. <laughs> Just before all of the shenanigans of 2020 started, I actually was in a relationship. And then it ended in the middle of the And then I was in another relationship, and then that one ended too. So I think it's fair to say that I'm probably for now better off single, and I've learned how to do it both in and out of a panini. And you know, while some days being single is a little like, mm. Mm. there are other times where being single has a certain je ne sais quoi, a certain air, a certain ambiance, if you will. It sounds like... Hello. Yes. Uh, can I call you back? Yeah, mm-hmm, okay. Okay, bye! <clears throat> As I was saying, it has a sound of silence. It sounds like quiet and peace. You hear that? That's what it sounds like. But let's be honest with ourselves. Sometimes all quiet all the time can get a little just too much, you know? Just a little. You start to feel a little crazy. Sometimes you just need a little action for a little pizzazz. So, what I like to do when I've had just, just a little bit enough of the silence and the quiet, I just I have a little fun with myself. Sometimes I'll pour a glass of red wine and I will have a dance party. Sometimes it's a naked dance party. In my room, sometimes I'll turn the lights low and I will just dance like I'm 22 again, no lie. And just dance it out for like a good hour. And you know what? It's actually a lot of fun. Other times I will line up my stuffed animals because I don't have pets yet. I don't have a cat or a dog or a bunny or any of that. So sometimes I will line up my stuffed animals right along my bed and I will give them a hell of a performance. 
Here's another one. It's a little odd, but it works for me. Maybe it'll work for you too. I get very flirty with myself in the mirror, as if I'm trying to seduce myself, which is probably a little awkward now that I'm saying it out loud, but it's honest, so. I'll like make winky faces and just check myself out up and down, be like, damn, you look good, look at, girl. At which point I will then probably take a few pictures. Just, just keeping it real. You could also always go the route of making yourself a nice dinner. Just a nice solo dinner, something that feels special to you, something that you don't make often, or something that you don't buy often. You don't have to make it, you know. Do, what you, do what's good for you. For me, that's usually like a steak and asparagus and potatoes with a glass of wine. I'll just cook and I'll set my food out real nice, dress the plate up very beautifully as if, as if I'm presenting it to a client at work. And I will sit down and play jazz. I am not a fan of jazz, guys. I actually, okay, it depends what kind of jazz, but generally speaking, just like smooth jazz, I can tolerate it, but I'm not crazy about it. But when I'm making myself a nice fancy dinner, especially if it's steak with red wine, I will sit that plate down and I will press play on some jazz and just eat and enjoy the vibe. It just feels so good to like, it feels like a nice cuddle almost. Just a way to be like, mm. you know? So other times, and this goes back to the silence. You know, we talked about having some noise and some action, but honestly, just being in the moment there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Obviously you could do that if you're not single. If you're not single and you're watching this, I appreciate you sticking it through even though this does not pertain to you. I see you. If you are like me, just being in the moment can really do wonders for the heart and soul, I feel like. It's just so, it's like rejuvenating. You get intimate with your thoughts, with the way you see things, especially if you're counting your blessings in those moments and noticing all the beautiful things you have around you or the beautiful things you've seen in the past, the wonderful things you've been able to experience in your life. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. So those are my ways how to be single in a panini. I'm sure there's many other ways. There's lots of things that people do to, you know, learn how to be alone. I do feel like I've probably had lots of practice being an only child. So maybe, maybe I'm not as qualified to talk about this as I thought, but I still feel like I am. I feel like I have good things to say, and I feel like these are good tips, especially the dance party and the concert. Like, honestly, you will be so revved up afterwards, you'll be like... Relationship who? I'm gay. I've got music in my voice. I need a relationship. So, if you are a single Pringle like me, I hope that this has been helpful. If you are struggling with being single, I hear you. I spent a lot of time last year mourning some relationships, so I feel you. You're gonna get through it, I promise. And I guarantee the singing and dancing bit will make you feel better, even if only for a little bit. That is all the singlehood advice I have for you today. Maybe I'll come back with more in the future, but for now, I feel like that is sufficient. I hope that you all have a wonderful week. Remember to live your best life because life is too short not to. And you know, 
If that means being single for a little while, because let's be honest, some of us entertain toxic relationships just so that we're not alone. I don't know about you, but I'd rather be alone than within bad company. That's just me. Again. Remember to live your best life, even if it means being single sometimes. Because life is too short not to. Life is too short to tolerate bad relationships. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Singing a song, don't cost nothing. Or was it palling around? Don't cost nothing. I'm surprised you remembered any of it. What can I say? It's sketchy. It's over, isn't it? It's over, isn't it? It's over, isn't it?